in this video, we'll be creating a Command & Conquer like RTS camera inside Unity. This is really good for any type of RTS game because any type of RTS game could really benefit from a controllable camera. Let's get into the video. Welcome to the second part of how to create an RTS game in Unity. In this video, we'll be making camera movement. So I've already set up a very simple camera rig here where and the main camera is slightly offset to a camera parent positioned at the world origin. And in this video, we're not going to be moving the camera around, but we're actually going to be moving this pivot around. So I'm just going to create a new C Sharp script and call it camera movement, movie like that. I'm going to let Unity compile and then Visual Studio did that for some reason and then i can open this script up like this we're going to have to create a public float movement speed like this if i can type correctly um by default i'm just going to set to like 45 f like this and then we're going to create a private vector 3 and just call it new pause like this and then we need to create a public void get Input. And in this video, we're going to be using the old input system, but later down the line, I will upgrade this project to the new input system. So in our get input function, we just have to say input dot get a button, get mouse, not mouse button, get button like this. And then we do, uh, wait, if input dot get key down, there we go, key code dot, let's just do W now we want to say new pause dot z plus equals the movement speed multiplied by time dot delta time and that should work this isn't actually going to update our input just yet but we're going to copy this a couple more times just for like that and we want to move forward and move right slash left okay so here we need to do key code dot s and then we need to do minus equals movement speed. And then here we need to do X. And we're plusing it. So we need to do A. Or maybe it's actually D. Sorry. And then we need to do key code dot A dot X minus the movement speed. Like that. And then we can say transform dot position is equal to the new pause. Like that. And then that should actually work. And then we just have to go into our update function and call the get input. Like that. And then we go here back into Unity. We're going to have to attach the script to the camera parent like that. And then once we head in game, we should see it actually working. Yes. Okay. So whenever I press W, it's adding just a tad bit. I'm actually going to drag the game over here just to show you that it is indeed doing something. But for some reason, I typed in get key down instead of get key. So I'm going to have to fix that to get key like that. And then we head back into Unity and then we should see that everything should actually work. So press play and just use your keys and move them around. Right now there's not really much visual feedback that we're actually indeed moving around. But in your scene you should see the camera moving around. So zooming would be real simple. We could just get the scroll wheel and move it on the Y axis y-axis based on that scroll and then we could just multiply it by scroll speed i'm not going to do that in this video just because the type of rts game we're creating we're just going to be creating a simple military rts kind of like command and conquer hi this is fun neighbor from the future i just want to point out that you can clamp your new pause making the map only a certain size by going into your script and making a new public vector 2 public vector 2 map size like this and then we can just say new pause new pause dot f is it equal to the math f dot clamp and then we just pass in new pause and then we do map size negative map size dot x and then mm, map size dot x like that and then we can do the same for our z new pause dot y is equal to mathf.clamp. It's actually new pause z. Mathf.clamp. New pause. We actually need to pass in the correct value. X dot y. Okay. It's actually z. And then we do negative map size dot y. And then map size dot y. 
that will restrict how far your camera can go and I can actually show you real quickly by heading back into Unity and setting the map size to something real small. Let's just say 15 by 15 like this and then we can say that it gets clamped to 15 positive 15 and then the same in all different directions. So we can head back to Funuber in the past. So that was basic camera movement setup. In the next video, I believe we're going to create a resource system. So meet you there.